Argo is the future of decentralized blockchain hosting and storage. With just one simple click, this protocol will allow you to easily deploy your front end applications with a one time payment, no hidden fees, 100% uptime, censorship resistance, and all of the other advantages of blockchain technology. In today's video, I'll show you what Argo is, what it does, and some of the advantages that it can offer. Hey everyone and welcome, this is Robert with Altcoin Buzz and in today's video we are going to be discussing Argo which hopes to be the future of decentralized blockchain hosting and storage. Now, before we start this video we need to take a step back and ask what is hosting and why does it matter? Anytime you visit a web page, whether this is YouTube, whether this is your bank, all of that information, all of those web pages, those files, they have to be hosted somewhere. Now, traditionally, this is done through a centralized hosting service. Maybe you've heard of Microsoft Azure, Amazon AWS, these services companies will pay them to host, store, and serve their data. Now, in all actuality, this works fairly well. The vast majority of the internet is built on these centralized hosting services. However, that doesn't mean there's not room for improvement. One of the issues with these centralized systems is that there's really only a few big players, so Microsoft, Amazon, Google, this creates an oligopoly in which prices can be considerably higher than they need to be. And on top of that, you have the issue of censorship, you have the issue of server downtime. So decentralized systems offer numerous benefits, right? greater uptime, greater resistance to censorship, the benefits of blockchain technology. However, even with these decentralized systems, there can be some room for improvement. According to Argo, there's a number of challenges facing decentralized web hosting, which are that users have to learn about the underlying technologies and there's not a great user experience. Don't get me wrong, I like cryptocurrency, I like blockchain, but I think anyone that has come from a centralized server, a centralized system to a cryptocurrency or a blockchain based product, you know that there's a little bit of a learning curve involved with that. You not only have to learn about creating content, you also have to learn about the aspects of the cryptocurrency blockchain based program that you're publishing your content on, right? It's just a learning curve. It's something that's involved with cryptocurrency, blockchain, not bad, but for a new user, it can be a little bit of a hurdle. That is one issue that Argo wants to make easier for people. On top of that, there's not many developer-friendly tools that are there to work with. So the idea behind Argo is that what they want to do is they want to take all of the advantages of these blockchain based, of these decentralized servers and hosting systems, and they want to combine that with the ease of use, the user interface of some of these centralized systems. So they really want to give users the best of both worlds. So with that being said, I just wanted to go through their web page, highlight a few of the advantages. What you can see here, obviously a one-time payment, no hidden fees, 100% uptime and censorship resistance. So when we think about one-time payment, this is something that's really awesome because as a business, you pay for something once and it's there. Your website's hosted, your storage is there. No hidden fees, again, great from a business perspective or even an individual, right? I know perhaps when I go to my gym, for example, it's $9.99 a month, but if you want access to other features, you've got to keep paying more fees. It's the same like this with the technology products with any kind of subscription based service. You pay once and then they start trying to add other things on. With Argo, not only do you just pay once, but there are no hidden fees. So what you pay is exactly what you pay. 100% uptime, censorship resistance. These are all additional advantages of using system that is based on blockchain technology. So we know that blockchain based servers, we know that decentralized servers have certain advantages. What does Argo do that makes this better? What they're really doing is they're acting as an easy to use interface. So what you can see here is that there's a variety of different DSNs, decentralized storage networks that are currently in existence. You may be familiar with some of those, some of you may not, but the issue here is that for each of these different applications, for each of these different protocols, if you want to use them, you've got to learn a new system. And on top of that, you've got to hold a new cryptocurrency token to interact with with those native protocols. So what Argo is doing is it's not trying to reinvent the wheel. It is not a DSN in and of itself. Rather, it's focused on bringing more usability layers on top of these already existing decentralized cloud protocols. So one thing specifically is that when you deploy with Argo, you can have the ability to pick which protocol you want to use. But 
Here's the cool thing. Regardless of which protocol you use, you pay with the Argo token. So as you can see here, it says the best thing about the foundation layer is that it can support not just one, but multiple protocols for deploying a web app. This way they mitigate the issue of holding multiple wallets and tokens for deploying any web applications on Argo. The user only needs to pay an Argo token and start deploying on any protocol that they like. So one protocol is doing better than another, you can deploy on that protocol. You don't have to go and get new tokens. You simply pay with the Argo tokens that you already have. Not only that, but again, this is a unified billing solution. So you may have different applications that you're deploying on different protocols. But again, you pay all of that with that one time fee through Argo. On top of that, for payment, users need to hold Argo tokens in Matic mainnet. So. In a previous video, I've been talking a little bit more about Matic Polygon. You all know that Matic and Polygon has a very low transaction fee. So again, this is something that's an added benefit to the project specifically. So just to run through a few more features that Argo has listed on their website, they've got the decentralized and secure hosting with a unified interface. Again, that's something that we talked about, making it easier to build, deploy your applications because again, you're doing this on one interface instead of having to use five or six different DSNs, simple and seamless integration with those different DSNs, easy integration with domains and a 100% uptime guarantee. So as you're a business, any time that your website's down, that is time that you're losing money. So 100% uptime is obviously a huge benefit there. And what are the use cases of this? What are they trying to aim as their target environment? It's primarily designed for DeFi, NFT, and DEXs, but it has other uses as well. So Argo provides all the tools for 100% uptime and censorship resistant hosting in an all-in-one platform, which is a much needed feature for DeFi, NFT, DEX applications to serve its users across the world. So although that's the primary feature, there are other use cases as well. And Argo says that it could be used for Web3 web development, Web3 asset storage, DeFi and DEX services, blockchain-based games, wiki sites, and institutions. So again, here, it is primarily focused on cryptocurrency. It is focused on DeFi NFTs, but obviously with those Wikipedia type sites, with those institutions, there's a clear benefit and there's a use case for them as well. And again, I am not by any stretch of the imagination a developer. My actual computer science knowledge, anything related to web technology, anything like that is pretty limited. So with that being said, I do wanted to show you this little graph they have here talking about how you can deploy your application up to 10 times faster on the decentralized cloud. So you basically just connect your repository add your build settings and deploy your site. So again, like I said, I have not built or deployed an application, but for those of you that have, you have the ability here to take a look at the different sequence of events that you would need to deploy your application on Argo. And again, as they claim here, it is 10% faster. So obviously saving time, saving money, getting your team focused on what it needs to focus instead of fighting with technical issues, trying to put these applications out there onto different DSNs. A few other benefits, obviously unlimited bandwidth. So they believe in the concept of being open and unlimited. They do not impose bandwidth limits or hidden fees. 100% uptime, and this is something, I know I've said 100% uptime multiple times, but the reason why is because this is something that they keep focusing on. This is something that they keep bringing up in their documentation. So 100% uptime, custom and DNS domain. So Argo's built-in support for configuring DNS and domain. Decentralized domain will allow you to add your domain with ease. And then obviously censorship resistant. It is decentralized and allows you to be in control of your own data and storage. With that being said, all of your decentralized protocols in one place, you can see a variety of the different protocols that they interact here with. A variety of the different options that you have. And again, this is all using the Argo token. So you can send to each of these DSNs, you can send to one of them, you can send to whichever ones you want. So that's where we are now. But what I want to do now is I want to transition and do a little bit more forward looking. So I want to look at upcoming features. I want to look at tokenomics and kind of give you a future for the project. Now, that being said, Anytime I talk about tokenomics, price, anything like that, I do want to be clear that this is not financial advice, not from me, not from the point of altcoin buzz. It's simply information to hopefully let you make your own decisions. So what you can see coming soon is it's also going to be a blockchain storage aggregator, which provides easy access to upload files on leading decentralized storage networks in the blockchain ecosystem. So again, we started out, we're talking about that decentralized server, that hosting, we're going to be uploading files themselves. So that's something to be looking forward to. As we move into quarter two of 2021, that's kind of where we are now. We've got plugin interface, more DSN support, Argo storage aggregator API, Argo storage aggregator user interface. Moving into quarter three, again, we're doing more integrations. 
different things. And again, as someone that's not into deploying applications, this is something that's a little bit out of my league. That being said, if you are a developer, if you are someone that's pushing out these applications, you can take a look here at their roadmap. What I will do is I'll leave all the links in the description so that you can see the different features that they will be pushing out to hopefully benefit you and make your deployment cycle just a little bit easier. So with that being said, I wanted to talk about the tokenomics, the utility of the underlying Argo token. Now, obviously, the number one thing here is that the hosting fees, right? So the key advantage, the key number one thing about Argo is that you can use this to pay your hosting fees to Argo regardless of which DSN specifically that you want to use. So first and foremost, it is a utility token that has that functional value. On top of that, with these, you have the ability for yield farming as well. So you know that you can stake your Argo tokens into a variety of liquidity pools. You can then farm those LP tokens depending on what protocol you're operating on. So a use case there and then governance. Argo is the basis for governance in the Argo ecosystem. The user who owns Argo can propose and vote for amendments to affect the platform's features. So again, in governance tokens, this is kind of something that's really becoming common in DeFi. You'll have something that's a utility token that has a use case, but you also have the ability to get governance and voting rights with that same token. So with that being said, I wanted to hop right on over to CoinGecko and show you the Argo token is currently trading at about, we'll call that 22 cents, just round off and make it easy with a 24 hour trading volume of $11,000. Market cap is currently not known. So one thing that I do want to point out is the entire cryptocurrency market lately has taken quite a beating. It has been a rough couple weeks for cryptocurrency. So sometimes when people see a price decrease, they say, well, that must be a bad project, right? The thing that I always tell people, and again, not financial advice, but I always like to point out that price should be one of many factors when you're considering a project. Me personally, I like to look at the underlying fundamentals, what the project is bringing to the marketplace. So yes, price is important, but I like to look at things in the context of a broader picture, specifically keeping in mind what's been going on lately with the cryptocurrency market. So there is Argo, and what you can see is the most active exchange trading it is Uniswap. So if we want to purchase some Argo, we simply click here and it's going to take us to Uniswap. Now, what I want to do is again point out that I'm not telling you to invest in or not to invest in Argo. I'm just showing you that it is available here for you on Uniswap. So we can go from a variety of tokens to Argo. Just to make things easy, let's do $1 worth of Tether. And what you can see here is that we are getting one Argo valued at about 22 cents. So you have the ability to purchase Argo here if you wish. Just wrapping everything up, I wanted to do a quick summary of some of the benefits that Argo offers, as well as giving you some numbers, some of the metrics, because one of the things that I always find challenging when you're dealing with these projects that might be a little bit newer, that might still be getting established, it's easy to look at a project that has a good roadmap that has a really shiny white paper. But what really, in my opinion, shows the metrics of a project is its actual numbers. So 1,000 plus users, 350 plus deployments already, and 20 ported decentralized financial applications that have used Argo. So again, it might be a little bit newer project. It might be something that some of the features are still in development, but we do have numbers. We do have metrics there showing that people are indeed using this. So just wrapping everything up, kind of doing a little bit of a summary here. Some of the advantages of Argo, obviously that one-time fee, 100% uptime, custom domains. But the big one here for me is that with one token, the Argo token, Token, I can easily gain access to a variety of different DSNs, decentralized storage networks, decentralized storage protocols, one token, multiple protocols. It makes it easier for me so that I don't have to hold all of those different tokens. And then on top of that, remember that one click deployment, that easy deployment cycle that considerably reduces the burden that your team is having to face. So less time fighting with different blockchain based protocols, more time actually developing the applications that you want your consumers and customers to be able to use. So as always, I'd like to thank Thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you next time.